I'm Roddy Bogus. I'm the Senior Vice President uh, and Global Market Leader for Aviation for Parsons Brinkerhoff. Uh, Parsons Brinkerhoff is, is one of the Balfour Beatty companies, a uh, global company. We have about 14,000 people uh, in uh, Parsons Brinkerhoff and aviation, being a transportation infrastructure firm, aviation is one of our core components of transportation infrastructure. So when we talk about what's going on in the aviation world, whether it's Aerotropolis, whether it's runways and taxiways, how to integrate trains, high-speed rail into the airports today, and, and how globalization affects uh, airports in general, it's right up our alley. From a DFW International Airport point of view, I started working out here in 1988. And uh, I'm an architect by education and trade. And so a lot of my initial work was doing work out here at DFW on the terminals. So I've had quite a bit of experience uh, out here at DFW. I've got to watch it grow. Uh, that was before I even knew what an Aerotropolis was. Uh, so over the years, as, I, if, as I've learned about Aerotropolis uh, and, and, and learned what's, what's it about and, and some of the growth that we've seen around DFW, it's been interesting to reflect back on, on what role I had in maybe helping create this. Well, I think, you know, these days you look at any kind of governmental entity and it's, it's fraught with, with trouble and people trying to get along and maybe governance or politics is just uh, uh, meant to, to not always get along well. And I think, you know, any success story certainly probably has their problems behind it as well. There are four cities that, that DFW uh, sits in, but it's owned by two cities, Dallas and Fort Worth. And so over the years that I've been here anyway, I've gotten to see a lot of people playing individually. Well, no, this is, I don't want DFW to be in competition with me because I need people to come to Fort Worth or I need people to come to Dallas. Uh, what we've seen over the past several years, though, has been much more of a coming together that we want people to come to DFW, to come to Fort Worth and Dallas and the entire Metroplex, Grapevine, Irving, Euless, uh, I think it's finally starting to get past the boundaries that we sometimes set for ourselves. And I think that's the biggest hurdle uh, with Aerotropolis today is governance and the boundaries. Maybe the biggest lesson is that if you look around and see an airport that sits in four distinct cities, that's owned by two other cities, and if this airport can learn to get along with all these cities and, and have the politics and the governance and get over the geopolitical boundaries, then what troubles can other airports really have?